Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Andrew Curtis here with Solar the Smart Way. Thank you for joining us in our how-to videos where today I will be showing you how to change out a traditional light switch with a motion sensor light switch. You can purchase this one on Amazon. Uh, use my link down here to go to my blog for changing out traditional light switches for motion sensor light switches. Use my affiliate links. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much in advance. It gives me a tiny bit of commission that I can keep making these videos and bring you better and better content. Um, the reason I'm changing these switches out is because my kids, I have four kids, and none of them can turn off the light switch. But this, you know, this has been going on since the beginning of time. Once light switches became uh, something in a house, it just, it's like, People don't know how to, you know, click, click. It's, it's, it's too hard to figure out, you know. So what I'm doing is I'm changing them out with motion sensors. Uh, my kids just can't figure out how to flip the switch just like anybody else. So tools we might need, you might have around. If not, I do have a recommended tool list and affiliate links that you can click on. It'll take you right to Amazon. Thank you again for using my links. It really helps out. Um, this is just a little pin tester. It tells you if you've got voltage. Well, I'll show you how to use every one of these. A pair of lineman's pliers. You don't need these. You can use a regular pair of pliers for wire. You know, it's it's not it's not a must have. They're great though. They they make a world of difference. Uh, razor knife, extremely helpful. Flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, pair of wire strippers or a different style of wire stripper, or just a traditional voltmeter will take place of your pen tester. These are just so easy to use. I love them, they're, they're great. So, let's get started today and uh, show you how to switch out this light switch. So this is the switch we're gonna be changing out today. Single pull switch, controls a fan, light assembly. Um, in our dining room, um, we're just going to go ahead and I've already secured power by flipping the breaker. I found the breaker, flipped the breaker. Now I'm going to open this up and make sure that I have no other hots running in through this switch. Make sure that I am safe to work on this. This is a must do. Everyone test for electricity over and over and over again. You don't want to get electrocuted. It's never fun. So we're just going to go ahead and take this cover plate off. It's just two screws, flathead screwdriver on most of your outlets, or most of your uh, most of your light switches will have. Grab my pin tester here and test to see if anything in this box is hot before I go touching it. I already turned off the breaker. And as you can see, it's staying green. I got no light, no uh, no red blinking light, so it's safe. I can remove this switch and know that I am not going to zap myself. All right. So to remove that switch, simple. Most have just a Phillips head screwdriver. You can use flathead if that's what you got. Very simple. Move that switch and that's what we got there. We have single pole switch. Neutral running through. All right, so I just opened up my package here for my motion sensor switch. Here's what comes in your package. Is a set of wire nuts, some screws, the usual. And here is a motion switch and a little wire and a booklet and a little yellow thing here, extended warranty of some sort, nonsense. You notice there's no faceplate. You do have to buy the faceplate separately. Um, they're not very expensive. You can also find that, my link there on, uh, on my blog. Well, along with any other links to uh, anything that has to do with uh, this video series here. So, let's go ahead and get started and get this installed so my kids 
to not have to worry about flipping that little switch. I don't know what's so hard. You just click, click, flick, flick. I don't, I don't know. So this now has a button. This is your your uh, motion sensor here, and I also bought a dimmable one so that I can dim my dining room lights so that I can actually have some mood lighting in uh, our dining room, which will be really nice to have, um, which we ha we don't have right now. When you to, purchase to your have, LED I've lights got... that I'm going to recommend to you, which you can also find in my lighting blog, get dimmable LEDs. Make sure they are As you can see, dimmable. we got our switch pulled out of the wall here. Our wires pulled out. Got our... Uh, I just took the wire nut off to my ground here where I'm going to put the ground that's already pre-installed on this switch. Isn't that neat? It's just uh, crimped right in there. It's already pre-stripped for us. I'm going to install that right there on my ground. Let's see if I can get a bite on her. Give it a little bit of a twist, and that just kind of locks it right onto that wire set. Grab our new wire nut here. The old one had actually ripped the inside of the wire nut out. You don't you don't want to reuse anything like that. So we put our new wire nut on. You can even give it a couple little cranks like that. We now have our switch installed with the ground. Now as simple as you can see here, since it is a single pull switch, you have one wire here, one wire here, the two studs on that side of the switch, two studs on that side of the switch. Now this switch is able to carry a third stud for a uh, three-way switch, but that's not what we need today. We just need a two-way. So you can buy all the same switches and you can get them at a, a discounted price for buying them in bulk and just replace these things out throughout your whole house, which will drop your power bills dramatically. It's amazing, especially if you have kids like I do. They do not know how to turn the lights off. So we go ahead and we hook up this uh, side of the switch. You just need a Phillips head screwdriver. And that is my son playing with a suction cup arrow. He, they love those things. All right. So you can see how those wires are kind of hooked. Just going to put that right onto our switch here. If you're going with new wire, you might have to to bend that hook into it, but you're going to need that hook to be able to grab on that screw. You don't ever want to use these. You don't ever want to use the little ports in the back that you shove the wire into. You're asking for problems. You want to actually use the studs on the side, okay? Don't, don't go for the easy way out. This secures it. You know it's always going to be a good, solid connection. Don't have to worry about anything. So we tighten that up. Get that other stud in there. Gotta open that up just a little bit more. All right. Now that switch is done. See how simple and easy that is? That right there is probably going to save me somewhere in the ballpark of once I have them installed throughout the rest of my rooms. Um, it's probably going to save me somewhere $20 a month to $30 a month just from my kids leaving the lights on. Now it'll only stay for a few minutes. It'll stay on. And then once a room realizes nobody's in there, light switch is off, start saving money. And yes, it does have a small phantom load in it because it is a, a motion sensor. It does draw a tiny bit of current, but nothing like leaving 
the friggin' lights on. This is a tiny bit of current that I will sacrifice for the ease of use. That this right here just eases so many headaches in my house. Getting rid of the yell at the kids to turn the light switches off. That is the the oldest fight in in the household. Help. Hold on. All right, switch is installed, and now it's time to put it back in the wall and test this thing out and see how we did and figure out the programming on this thing because you can actually program this to do all kinds of different things. So let's go ahead and get this tucked in. What we want to do here is tuck in our ground wire first, our neutral wire here that carries through our box. Get it nice and pretty in the back of the box. Because these switches do have kind of a big back on them, so we we are going to have to uh, make sure we have the space. All right. So now what I'm going to do here is get my little is get my little bag that came with a couple of wire nuts and stuff, which I did take one out to replace it. It's got my two screws in it to attach it to my. Uh, I got my screws. Go ahead and get them started here. And I'll just do a quick little center, get it kind of in the center of the the slot there. Let's see how it looks. And you just want to tighten it down so that it's touching the sheetrock there. It's got a little bit of pressure. And Here's the cover place. plate. This can be purchased right there off my blog. You can link to it right here in the description. There should be a link right to my blog. You can check out my page. It's got more in-depth information about what we did today. Uh, links to all of the products, also the tools. The All right, and that is our light switch installed. Look at that gorgeous white light switch. Motion sensor, dimmable on the side here. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and check this thing out and test it.